Welcome to Pilates Body Toner. My name's Wendy Smith. I've been in the health and fitness industry for 17 years and I really love it. I'd like to share with you a really good secret that shapes and tones. Do you want to be toned, flexible, strong, but also coordinated? Then here it is. A combination of Pilates principles and the Pilates body toner. Pilates focuses on breathing, <sighs> but also balance. Balance is important in everyday life. We all want to be balanced. You want to be balanced in your mind, your body, your soul, work-life balance, family, friends, and of course, balanced in yourself. Give yourself a little bit of time that you deserve. With this, the Pilates body toner has lots of different options. It's made for all different age groups. Any fitness level from beginner all the way up to advanced. You can have little settings from four up to 127 different options. It's a really good, fun, enjoyable workout in the comfort of your own home. As you can see, it's nice and compact. It's gym grade quality. It's affordable. And you can really get excited about getting the toning that you really, really want. Now I'm going to step you through some really good exercises that are safe, enjoyable and gets the results that you really want. So here it is, the fantastic Pilates body toner. You can see it's nice and comfortable, lots of padding and it also comes with this push-up bar. It's strong, easy to assemble and then the four simple adjustments are on the back. One, two, three, pushing in and out, four, they're the power cords. So you can hear, see the shoulder pillars. They come with the straps for the arm grips. And if you want to increase the intensity, all you do is watch. Simply lift it up. It's really good and your workout gets really strong. But the other way is to drop it down and that's for beginners. Now I'm gonna show you with a combination of your user's guide. You can actually go through some simple exercises. I'll show you how to do it why to do it, what muscles you're working, so you can actually enjoy the workout. When you lie down, it's nice and comfortable. Just be mindful of your head, putting your shoulders on the shoulder rests, your feet together, and on the foot rest. Put your hands either up or down, wherever it's comfortable. And from here, you literally push up and down like a squat. Squeeze your thighs together, working your inner thighs, your quadricep, which is the outer leg, and also your gluteus maximus, which is the backside muscles. So slowly, gently pushing up and coming down. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. And squeeze the muscles. You can see them working. So this is the arch pulse. As you can see, the setup's exactly the same. Make sure your heels are up, your knees are 90 degrees. From here, you're squeezing your thighs together, squeezing your buttocks, but also switching on your core, which is right here. So from here, we push up and pulse three times. One, two, three, and then come back down. Pushing up and pulse. One, two, three, and back down. Use your breath, use your breathing, Exhale as you come up, little pulses at the top, and then come back down. Deep breathing and switch on. This is called the heel press exercise. It's a very similar setup as before. We're using very similar muscles, but this time we push through our heels. As you can see, you can simply push up and again, moving similar muscles. Use your breathing and squeeze your inner thighs, inner core, and also your buttocks. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale.
So this is the plie. Slightly turn your toes out into a V position and your knees so they're in line with your toes. Draw in your core. And as you push up the glider, you can see you squeeze your thighs together. You get a really good burn. Inhale, open out the knees. Exhale, squeeze the thighs together. Inhale. Exhale. That's it, you're doing really well. Stay with me. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale, push through the heels, squeeze the thighs together and enjoy your workout. So these are called arm circles. You put your hands into the straps and you push up. If you can, don't put any pressure on your feet and you literally do arm circles, surprise, surprise. It's a really good exercise for the shoulders, which is the deltoids. You can feel it working all the way around. And you breathe in, breathe out. Remember, Pilates is all about breathing and balance. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Relax your legs and just working the arms and the shoulders. That's it, good. This exercise is called the hundreds. Joseph Pilates called it hundreds, but as you can see on the Pilates body toner, we can get our feet together on the foot rests, the hands in the hand straps, tucking the elbows in, switching on your core, and as you push the glider, you can see naturally the arms come forward in a tricep position and you curl all the way up. From here, if you feel safe and comfortable, then you can lift your knees up. And the option is advanced, where you lift the legs up and we pulse just like this. Inhale, exhale, ribs to hips, hips to ribs. Little pulses if you can. If you can't, you can just hold it nice and still. Lift from the crown of the head, tucking the chin in safely. And again, if you can, you can actually drop your legs down. From here, we come back up to the start position, bend the knees, putting the feet back onto the foot rests, back to the start position. So this is called the cat. I want you to arch your back like it's a cat stretching. So you put your feet parallel, arching up, rolling up, squeezing up, pull up as tight as you can, tucking the head under. Then lengthen out the spine. As you lengthen out, I want you to push your feet away from your body. Be gentle and careful of your joints. Soften the elbows, soften the shoulders. Make sure there's a direct line from your shoulder to your elbow to your wrist. And push out, breathe out, and breathe in. Breathe out. If you want the harder option, all you do is step your legs slightly back. And from here, switch on your core. Make sure you arch up, roll up, squeeze up, and then lengthen the spine and pushing behind. As you can see, the arms are nice and straight with a slight bend. The le legs are nice and straight with a slight bend. But what you're doing is really switching on your core. Squeeze your core and then back in. You're doing really well. This is a really good exercise too. You can see I can feel it and you'll be able to feel it too. So remember the beginner option, all you do is step your legs in as close as possible, arch your back, get a nice stretch, and when you push back, you can push back gently and not go as far. Just be very careful. Thank you. Now we've worked the back of our arms, let's work the front of our arms. This is called the biceps. Grabbing on, similar to the rowing position, but this time the palms are facing up towards you. When you curl up, and pull in, you can get a really good curl in the bicep. Pull in and up and squeeze, and then back down. If you feel uncomfortable at any stage, you can either cross your legs or keep them straight as long as your spine is nice and tall and straight and pull the shoulder blades back. When you curl in, try and get the full range of motion all the way down and all the way up. Really feel that squeeze at the top 
Try and relax your fingers. Try and use the bicep curls. Nice and strong. And you work up quite a sweat doing this one as well. The arms keep the resistance quite light. And then as you get stronger, increase the power cords accordingly. So this exercise is called the mermaid. You'll be able to see why. Your legs are together, you're sitting on the side, and all you do is hold on to the push-up bar, either wherever you're comfortable, probably put the thumb underneath. When you push away, you can see the glider sliding, and you reach all the way up. You get a nice big stretch. So the legs are together just like a mermaid. You reach up and over and stretch, open up the rib cage, and come back down. You can feel the obliques, the intercostals, which wraps all around the front of your abdominals and then coming down. So reach and extend and then back down. You do this on both sides, reach and stretch and then back down. Keep the elbows soft and the shoulder. The next exercise is called the prance. It's alternate leg extensions. Putting the ball of the foot onto the foot rests. As you can see, you just alternate the right knee with the left knee. Your hands are placed nice and comfortably on the sides. Relax your neck and shoulders, lengthen your spine and switch on your core. This one you can't go wrong. It's really simple, really easy and great for newcomers. You're doing really well. Now we're going on to the pelvic tilt. This time your feet are on either corners of the footrest. Your knees are in line with your toes. Your hands are nice and comfortable. From here we push through the heels and then you do a pelvic tilt up just for one second and then back down and then bend the knees. So we're working the hips the quads or the thighs and the glutes and of course your core. Make sure you're working at your ability. Just be careful, look after your body and draw in your core. If you want to, you can go a little bit quicker and squeeze and then back down. So change the pace. Well done. So now you've done a great workout. You deserve a really good stretch. So we put our hands placed onto the push-up bar. From here you can arch up and it feels really good. And then you lengthen out. So just slightly gently push the glider away and then come back up and get a nice big skeletal stretch. Stretching out your spine, lengthening out your spine, Soft elbows, soft joints, coming up, arching, stretching, pulling, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, come down and lengthen a gentle stretch. How far do you stretch? Until it feels good. You don't want to overstretch. You want to just feel nice and feel good, so you want to come back tomorrow and do it again. Lengthen and curl and pull up and separate one vertebrate at a time. If you don't and you seize up your back, you get that stiffness in your back. We don't want pain at all, do we? We don't want back pain. We want to release the back coming up and then reaching out. Well-deserved stretch. This exercise is the traditional ab crunch. So your knees are together Extend the legs, keep them slightly bent, cross the arms over your chest and curl up at the same time. So you come down, lift up and curl and crunch, lifting from the crown of the head, ribs to hips, breathe out, breathe in. Wow, you can really feel it in that core. It's a really good exercise. Be careful to relax your neck and your shoulders. And as you come up, push your belly button down towards your spine or towards the floor.
So from the abdominal crunch, we go straight into the ab crunch with arm movement. So it's very basic. All you do is lift the arms on top of your shoulders. And this time, when you push the legs, curl the head up, lift from the crown of the head, and then come back down. So a little bit smoother. You can use the arms, use the shoulders, feel the muscles working. And it's a really good workout in your core. So I would recommend keep it on light resistance. And as you get stronger and you feel safe and comfortable, then you can increase the power cords and add an extra load. Inhale, exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, exhale, lift and squeeze. Push the belly button right down towards your back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So this is the seated curl. As you can see, we face the shoulder rests. Grabbing the hand handles like this, roll your shoulder blades up, back and down, tuck the elbows in. Your feet are placed at a straddle position and you literally just curl in and then back. So lengthen your spine from the crown of the head, tuck your chin in, shoulders back and curl and then release. Again, don't forget you can adjust four different tension cords in the back before you get started. This one's nice and easy because again, it's your arms. When it's your leg exercises, we put a little bit more weight. So keep this nice and light and easy. One or two for beginners, three or four for advanced. You can adjust it accordingly. You're doing really well. Feel that curl and squeeze. You're doing really well. Now we have to work our arms, the back of the tricep. So this exercise, we move on to the tricep press. It's really good to shape your arms, but I highly recommend to keep the power cords and the resistance a little bit lighter. So you've got either one or two. So keep it really light and as you get stronger, then you can increase the power cords accordingly. So adjust it when you come down. Grabbing onto the hand wrists like this, elbows 90 degrees. And from here, just place your feet onto the footrest. Make sure you're not pushing onto your feet. So I'm hardly pressing down at all, just touching and gently slowly pushing the elbows down, moving only your forearms. Switching on your core, lengthening your spine from the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale, pushing down. Keeping that nice 90 degrees with the elbow, keep the elbow tucked in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Remember, I'm not pressing hard through my feet. So you can nearly take your feet off. You can feel the resistance. You can feel the arms working and that's for an advanced option. It's a really good exercise and a really good workout. From here, we go straight into the arm pull. The arm